Hey, what's up, YouTube? And welcome to another food solution. And today we'll be looking at um, connecting your PHP to your MySQL backend. All we'll be doing in this video is just simply retrieving data that we've already stored. What you need to do is to make sure that you already have a a server or basically a backend. You need a MySQL database. You should be have that you can you can request information from. This video won't look into that. All it will be doing is just simply retrieving the information that's already stored in your database. So we're going to be using my test database. So let's get started. First of all, I'm using NetBeans, but you can use any other any other IDE you choose uh, or you think that you work best in. So I'm using my PHP has already been set up. So all I'm just going to be doing is just showing you the code necessary. So first of all, let's create a folder if you're using um, 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 NetBeans. So and click next and give your project a name and I'm going to write project all right this should be capital R doesn't have to be but you know I like capital R and next and next all right so here we go we're into our PHP code so let's get started so first thing we need to do is to rem create a variable to store the username for the database. So mine will be Roger and the password and mine will be, and I'm calling that, this, that, that variable as well, password. All right, let's end that statement at the top. Okay, and my password will be the, the password. All right, so that's my default password. All right, and for host, I have a host, a host already set up. So the host that is already set up, I'm going to put in the host for my external database and that's db for free um, dot net and the port number and the name of the database and mine is called ready now all right yeah strange names all right so we already have the username the password the host so what we're going to do is to create a variable that keeps the connection so the screen and mine is called con two ends you can name it anything you want remember it's just a variable now we're going to pull mysql uh, underscore connect all right and the one that we use is going to take the server the username and the password so it's host and i like to put the username next all right, so the username next, and then the password. And that's password. All right, and then to make sure we we will have a successful connection, we're going to do this. If not con which is the name of our connection. If it did not connect, open curly brackets, we're going to display something so we know it didn't connect. And what our display would be die, which is a special um, method used to determine if it didn't work and to end the connection. And we're just gonna simply output it didn't connect. A lot of persons like to show you to display the my SQL error, but I won't be doing that. I just want to know if it didn't connect, it just didn't connect. All right, so after doing all of that and getting our connection, what we also will need is a query statement. So let's just call this the sign. 
I'm just going to call it SQL and we're going to say we want everything from the database. So in all caps, we'd say select star from and, this, and our table would be movies. I already have it set up. So we'll select star from movies. All right. So now that we have that set up, what we're going to do is select our database. So we are going to call it SQL underscore select database and just put in the database name. It's so much easier to use um, NetBeans. NetBeans is wonderful with PHP. And the name of our database is ready now. Okay, all right. Now we're going to process this by saying, let's just call this result. So we're going to say result would be MySQL underscore query to do our query and it will pass in the SQL which is select all from movies which is story in star is SQL or SQL and the, the connection which would be con. Okay. All right, now to read the information from our database, we're going to need a while loop. So we're going to say while, and that's what I love about NetBeans. It already guesses what you're going to be doing and gives you a while loop right here. So let's just fetch it in an array. All right, so we're going to say while row equal mysql underscore fetch that array, and this says query. And we don't have query is not the thing that holds our query. So it is result in our case. So we'll have a result. Okay. And now we are just going to do something simple. Let's just ex let's just simply just um let's just echo what our result is. We're gonna keep it very simple. So we're just gonna echo, so we echo out row and what exactly you want from the database so in mind i want the location information of my movie poster so it's location for me okay so that's pretty much how it works all right this doesn't need to be in quotations it just can be row location and that's what we have so we're going to run this and see what happens. Okay, so when we run this, this is what we see. Okay, that's a lot of scattered information retrieved from our database. But I'm going to make this a neater situation. So what I'll be doing is, because I already know in my situation that this is this is basically HTML references to my my movie posters. I can do a little better and make this even interesting by actually displaying the the pictures, the images. So let me just create an image tag here and a source that's equal. All right, and let me just end that. And it must be written up as a string if that's what you're doing. If you are, if you don't have images, then you don't have to do anything of based on what I'm doing. This is just specific to my my situation, just to show you guys how to do it. All right, so that's pretty much it. And you use you use a period to concatenate um, in 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 PHP. It's one of the weirdest stuff out there, but pretty much that's how it is. And I'm going to just simply add a height, 300, and a width, 300. Alrighty, and let me see, it looks like I'm good here. And let's just run it again, and let's see the difference. Alright, there we go, those are my movie posters. So pretty much that's how it works. You simply 
simply just it's a pretty simple um, process really pretty simple process pretty simple process so that's it so you just simply use your while loop while, um, put it in a temporary variable mine was row and you just say mysql underscore fetch that array and whatever your variable is that held your query and your database information all right guys i hope this uh, this was as simple as possible i really tried to make it as simple as possible i tried to keep all of the fluff out and not make it difficult um so if you like this video and you want to see more php videos with simple concepts really explained as simply as possible then just like this video and i'll know that you want to see more of this kind of stuff because on this channel we do a lot of different languages so whatever i see you guys interested in that's what i'll put up and those who are waiting on our more android videos there will be more to come so just stay tuned or just tell me in your comment section what you want to see and thank you guys for watching and subscribe if you like these videos they are as simple as i can make them